Hello, students. Good, good evening. Welcome to our English class. Hello, hello. Are you there? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, welcome to our English class. We're about to start. Good evening. Hello, welcome, guys. How are you today? Great. Fine, teacher. Great. Excellent. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to know that. So welcome to our English class. It's actually a good time. You know, it's it's Friday. It's on a special time, you know, because weekend is coming. And also we are uh, ready to, you know, to study and practice. So we have different things that we are like developing all the time in our jobs, like uh, having responsibilities, you know, working in different things. But the motivation um, should be very necessary in what we do, and especially when we are practicing the language that we we know that we all the time practice. So with this part, we are definitely thinking about uh, a lot of activities. And today, because it's a good time, we will be developing some exercises for the class. And those are practice, as I told you. We will be uh, taking a short time to practice. We'll be developing some English structures and everything for the class. Um, but also, I just want to know in why we started uh, in the class um, yesterday. Who wants to help me to uh, express, you know, your ideas about what we did? Do you remember? You can tell me, teacher, this day we did this one, or we talk about, so think about it, and tell me what we studied yesterday. ¿Qué estudiamos el día de ayer? Un voluntario. A ver, ¿qué? what do you remember we studied? Good and will. Okay. Yes. Okay. And also would and will, right? So thinking about probability. What what else would you like to add? Or something else that you would like to say, students, about the yesterday's class? Something else? Sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so that's, you know, one of the things that we started yesterday. And today it's going to be like kind of review. So we are going to try to you know, focus in the pronunciation and focus in vocabulary and also focus in writing because it's good to, um, you know, study different contents too. And especially we'll be working with that in our English class. So let me introduce today the activity. And also, I know that there are some students joining the class today. And uh, we don't have to, you know, um, you know, doing something like traditional that you see, then you're studying. You can also do something different, like watching movies in English, series that can help you to enjoy and also, you know, have fun and learn English at the same time. Watching a series, watching movies. And they can help you because they are very creative, you know, creating movies. And so I just encourage you to do that. Yes, it would. And also will, right? Acuérdense que would nos hacía una probabilidad y will nos hablaba de un futuro, right? We were saying that. Y cuando hablamos acerca de restaurants and, and hotels, when we go to a restaurant and we are asking for some food, Nos ayudan para solicitar comida, right? When we ask for food, I have a sandwich, I have a soda, I have, you know, and we are talking about some special food. And uh, this is uh, what we do, right? Discussing about important details. So let's start today with the class. And also, and we are going to present the first activity. And I know that uh, most of you are joining right now to uh, the following activities. Let's begin. It's a video conference number eight here. You can see that this is a review 
because we have started some previous topics, so it's going to help us to practice a little bit more. And uh, the question is, if you uh, practice English all the time, your English level is better. Definitely, that is better if you study more, if you dedicate more time to practice English, your your English level will be more interesting. So let's let me show you here the presentation for this class. And we have a conversation between two people, between Kevin and Alice. So they are talking about, um, you know, some recommendation. And we will read this conversation in the class. And we will also practice with a partner. So for this one, I will read this information for you. So I hope it's going to be um, something very valuable. Um, let's see. Well, I was I was reading, guys, that th there was uh, a student that he said that uh, a relative died. Do you know the name of the student? Could you help me with that? What's the name of the student? I was like checking that that he says that he won't be in class because one of his relative died. Do you know the name of this student, by the way? No. Because I don't see here in the group the name of this, this person. So that's why. Know about it? Okay, well, so we have this conversation here and I need her to uh, listen carefully. And uh, we will discuss this uh, conversation. So I will just record that part. So the, the conversation is between uh, Kevin, Alice, and a Wade, Wade person. So let's see what the conversation goes. So everybody just follow that that part of this the conversation. Uh, the spaghetti looks really good. Is it? I had I had it the last time I was here. And how was the pizza, Alice? It's good, but I think the pasta is better. What would you recommend? I recommend the lasagna. It's excellent. That sounds great. I, I'll have that. Fine. Would you like an appetizer? No. Lasagna is more than enough for me. I think I'll have the lasagna as well. Right. That's two lasagnas. Would you care for an appetizer? Yes, I'll take the, the calamari. Oh, that sounds good. I can't decide between the chicken, marsala, and the grilled fish. Oh, the fish is fresh, so I recommend that. Great. I'll have the fish. I'll also like a salad. I have a fish. I also like a salad. What would you like to drink? I'll have water. I like a beer. I'll take the glass of red wine. Thank you. I'll get the drinks and the appetizers. Thank you. Okay, look at this one. Well, we have this conversation between uh, two people that they went to a restaurant to look for some food. And also the wait person uh, has some recommendation about what to eat. So they have some ideas that, that are very interesting for the people who go to this restaurant, especially when they are talking about lasagna. And, um, you know, it's very delicious. Do you like lasagna? Do you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. That's right. It's very delicious. We already love that. And don't forget to, to have the camera on because it's important. Remember that. In Safari, so like requesting students to turn on the camera because they can see you, they can see the participation of you in a class. So that's why it's very important. So you can appreciate, guys, that you know Kevin uh, was thinking about a spaghetti because he said that it looks good, but also Alice, you know, was thinking about it. Then Peter says, "You know what? How is the pizza, Alice? It's good. 
but I think pasta is better. So she accepted a little bit more about pasta than than also pizza. And also the waiter recommended lasagna because it was much better. And he um, evaluated as excellent. And that's why Alice says, that sounds great. I'll have that. So you also can see that the two lasagnas, because where they were talking about Kevin, Alice, and also the question is, would you like, would you care for an appetizer? Yes, I'll take the calamari. So besides the lasagna, um, Kevin wanted to have an appetizer. Look how interesting is that? And then Peter says, oh, that sounds good. I can't decide between the chicken marsala and the grilled fish. Both dishes are very delicious. So they already enjoy that part. And the waiter person says, you know, the fish is fresh. So I recommend that. So the waiter person had an idea that perhaps the fish could be a great dish for them. And also when I listen about real fish, wow, I was hungry because, you know, this dish is so delicious, very, very delicious. And also Kevin and Alice, they decided to request some drinks for their food. And also the waiter person uh, said, thank you. I get the drinks and the appetizers so they can start eating until getting their main dish. That's mean that they have requested as part of their food. So what I want you to do guys in this part is to listen to this conversation because I send the audio through um, what's up and you had to practice the conversation. That's what you had to do. And as I told you before, try to sound natural, try to sound interesting, and also practice English because it's it's very, very important. Remember, uh, in the groups, you will have the opportunity to practice the conversation. If you have some doubts about the conversation, uh, I will send you, send you the picture of the conversation that we have been practicing during this class. Let's see. Also, in the WhatsApp group, I sent it to you, the presentation for this class, the PowerPoint presentation, so you can also see the conversations right there in the class, because it's going to be very helpful for us to do that. Okay, before that we go and practice with our groups, I want to ask you, do you have a question? Questions? No question. It's clear. Teacher, I have I, a question. Yes, tell me. We, we, we can use the have and like and take for uh, like a, a something. Um, bebida, do you say? Drink. The drink. Mm -hmm. You can use drink. drink. You can use drink. You, we can use have. They have they like to to give to give the to ask the the drink. And you can say I I have it I have water, I have a soda, so you could do that. And also like is because you say I like it es lo mismo. I would like, I would like coffee. I would like um a juice. I would like soda. I would like water. So you can use it. And also I take a glass of red wine. So you can use it because our verbs like that give us um, an action. So you could do that. Okay. Like the example. And I like is the ones that we have been using. Like I would like a soda, but in this case it's in contraction. I would like to, you know, to eat a sandwich. I would like to eat, um, um, you know, grilled fish. You can use that. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. So clear, so... Awesome. Yes, you can use it. And any other question? No. Okay, so let's go to the groups. I will create the breaker rooms. And you will have a time to practice the conversation. Try to focus in the pronunciation that I told you the last time. 
if you remember, um, we were um, practicing the pronunciation, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really love the way some of you were uh, practicing the conversation because, you know, you were trying to get the accent. It was like surprise because that's one of the ways that I want you to do. Like try to focus and also try to pronounce the words in a different way. Es decir, eh, la vez pasada estuve escuchando varios grupos y había muchos estudiantes que le daban como el estilo, trataban de pronunciarlo eh, con un estilo diferente y se escuchaba súper bien. La conversación bien natural, like not a Spanish at all. And that's one of the things that I want you to see, that you can also work with the accents and also the way we pronounce the vocabulary. So I sent it to you the... De audio, les mandé por ahí el audio en, en el grupo, revisen por si tienen alguna duda, alguna palabra y si no, pues me dicen. Así que vamos a formar los grupos para que practique su conversation. Así que let's go, let's practice. Let's see here. mean i think i have the lasagna as well
right. That stew lasagna. What could you could you cater for a a petisis? Yes, I'll take the calamari. Oh, that sounds great. That sounds good. I can decide between the chicken mars marsala and greasy fish. The fish is fresh, so I recommend that. I recommend that. Great. I have the fish. I also like a salad. What would you like to drink? I have water. I like a beer. I will take a glass of red wine. Thank you. I will get the drinks and the appetizers. Thank you. The spaghetti the spaghetti looks really good. Really good. It is. I had I had it the last time I was here. How is the pizza, Alice? It's good, but I think the pasta is better. What would you what would you recommend? I recommend the last the lasagna. It's excellent. That's not great. I have that. Fine. Could you like a petite? No, lasagna is more than enough for me. I think I have the lasagna as well. Right. That's two lasagnas. Would you care for an appetizer? Yes, I'll take the calamari. Oh, that sounds good. I can decide between the chicken marsala and grilled fish. The fish is fresh, so I recommend that. Great. Or so I recommend that. Great. I have the fish. I'd also like a salad. What would you like to drink? I don't have water. I like beer. I'll take a glass of red wine. Thank you. Well, thank you. I'll get the drink and the appetizer. Thank you. Empiezo yo de nuevo. Sí. The spaghetti looks really good. It is. I have it the last time I was here. How is the pizza, Alice? It's good, but I think the pasta is better. What would you recommend? I recommend the lasagna. It's excellent. That's so great. I'll have that. Fine. Would you like an appetizer? No, lasagna is more than enough for me. That's two lasagnas. Would you are for an appetizer? Yes, I take the calamari. Peter? Oh, that sounds great. I can decide between the chicken, marsala, and grilled fish. The fish is fresh, so I recommend that. Great, I don't have the fish. I also like a salad. What would you like to drink? I had a, I had water. I like a beer. I'll take a glass of red wine. Thank you. I get the drinks and the appetizer. Thank you. Okay, hoy yo, hoy yo soy Peter. Sí, y, y, y White Person. Ah. Cristian. Está por ahí. Ah, no, es Cristian. Okay. Okay. 
¿Quién soy yo? ¿Quién soy yo? I don't know. Que sea Kevin, entonces. Bye. Sea usted Kevin. Yo quiero ser Alicia. Entonces yo. Alicia. Entonces yo. Entonces yo, Peter. Yo voy a ser mesero. Bye. Cristian. Cristian. Usted es Kevin, ¿verdad? No se le escucha. I didn't to listen. Ah, no puede escuchar. Ah, quizás está trabajando. Entonces, I don't know. I don't know. Miren, niña, si quieren nosotros, porque quizás está ocupado, va. Sí, quizás. Dice que no nos logra está... escuchar. ¿Ah? Dice que no nos logra escuchar, escribió ahí en el chat. Continúe. <risa> ah, ok. Bye. Ah, pues aquí me tocaba hacer el mesero. Yo no he sido Kevin. Entonces, Yo iba a ser Peter y el white okay. person. Vale. Comienza okay. entonces. ¿Quién es Kevin? Usted iba a ser Kevin. Yo voy a ser Kevin. Ve, ok. Kevin looks like really good. He said, I had, it's the last time I was here. How is the pizza, Liz? It's, it's good, but I think the pasta is better. What would you recommend? I recommend the lasagna. It's excellent. That sounds great. I have that. Fine. Would you like? Would you like an um, aperis aperis but Appetizer, perdón. Appetizer. 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 No, lasagna is more than enough for me. I think I have the lasagna as well. All right. Does two lasañas? Would you care for for an appetizer? Ape yes, ah. I'll take a calamari. A ay, ¿Cómo es? A pe a, a pe ¿Cómo es? Appetizer. Appetizer. Okay. And oh, that's not good. I can't decide between the chicken marsala and grilled fish. The fish is fresh, so I recommend that. Ah, great. I have the fish. I also like a salad. What would you like to drink? I have water. I'd like a beer. I'll take a glass of red wine. Thank you. I'll get the drinks and the appetizer. Thank you. Ya, ya, ya se acabó el tiempo. Ah, pues, adiós. Thank you guys for coming back, you know, congratulations because of the practice. We will continue with the rest of the activities. I could see that you were like trying to, you know, having a nice conversation, switching some, you know, uh, lines and also role play. That was great. And we continue with the next activity. And also I will share here the next slide that we 
uh, have here. So look at this one. And that is the next one. What is interesting to me. Look at this one. Writing a restaurant review. So what, what, what I want you to do is to do the same activity. Have you eaten out at a restaurant recently? That's the question. Have you, have you eaten out at a restaurant recently? How, how was it? Write a review of the restaurant for a local newspaper. So what I want you to do is to have a short time to describe a personal experience you had in a restaurant. And look at the example we have here. Last week, I had lunch at Luigi's new Italian restaurant in my neighborhood. I ordered a green salad and a cheese pizza. The pizza was excellent, but the salad wasn't very good. The lettuce wasn't very fresh for the dessert. I had chocolate cake and a cappuccino. The cake was rich and delicious. And also what I want you to do is to have a description um, about an experience you had in a restaurant. Think about one experience you had. For example, what did you eat in Hawassi? What's the name of the restaurant? And also what you both, it was delicious or not. If you had a good experience or a bad experience. In a short paragraph, you would write this description. After you um, write this restaurant review, you will work in the breaker rooms and you will socialize the information you had about that restaurant. This is what we had to do. So think about the last experience you had. I know that some of you, you know, uh, the last time I told, I asked you and you said that a week ago you went to a restaurant or two weeks ago, the, or the last um, two days ago, yesterday. So describe the last experience you had in a restaurant and also why, what do you eat? So that's something that we had to do. Um, I would like to ask you, it's that clear the instruction? It's so close to Thank you so much. Yes, I need to make sure. Thank you so much. To, yeah, so I, I will give you this time to think about this, you know, this review you had and also describe a, a nice experience in the restaurant. Um, meanwhile, I will check the attendance list to so be ready and say present and because I need to check that part.
Ok. Um, Ada Agar Burgos. Hello, present. Thank you. Uh, Blanca Elena Melara. Uh, Cristian uh, Salatier Molina. Present. Uh, Claudia Lisset Velázquez. Claudia. Present teacher, present teacher. Aquí estoy. Ok. Uh, David Roberto Aquino. David Roberto. Eh, Denis Francisco Alvarado. Yes, I'm here. Thanks. Elena Gabriela Jovel. Elena Gabriela. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Present teacher. Thanks. Gisela Emperatriz Cañas. Present. Héctor Iván Pérez. Present teacher. Eh, jo eh, Jocelyn Stephanie Mejía. Kenia Vanessa Corbera. Present teacher. Thanks. Marco Antonio Quijano. Present. Eh, María Elena Flores Solano. Present. Thanks. Oscar Antonio Ramos. Present. Eh, Rebeca Jonel Hernández. Present teacher. Eh, Present. Vanessa Gabriel Hernández. Present teacher. Eh, Xiomara Elizabeth Hernández. Xiomara. Eh, Jessica Esmeralda Martínez. Present teacher. Thanks. Jocelyn Elizabeth González. Present teacher. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Um, almost ready or not yet? Almost ready. Okay, interesting. Uh, five more minutes is okay for you? Or, or less? Less than five. Because if you are ready, we can start. But... I know that some of you are working and still working about the review. And so one of the goals is that you can add more details about this uh, experience in the restaurant.
Okay, almost ready, guys. Yes. Ready now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Someone else say yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So let's have a, a good time with this. We will work in the breakout rooms. And also what I want you to do is to read your review to your group. In this case, we'll be working with the same groups. And the main goal is that and we can also, you know, learn a little bit about, you know, our experience in the restaurant and what, what you ate, what you ate, and also some things that we were discussing. Ok, vamos a abrir los breaker rooms y con su grupo, pues usted comenta un poquito acerca de su experiencia. Pueden hacer algunas preguntas sobre la, the prices, los precios de la comida, si estaba delicious. Yeah, I mean, I paid that amount. It was delicious. I, I love the pizza and it was great. And I had a good recommendation to go to this place. So you can also talk about it. Entonces, and you can talk about your review. That's why it, it's very important to do that. Okay, so let's uh, check uh, some valuable details about it. And at the same time, we practice English. Let's go.
computer. On that occasion, I ordered a hamburger with a bread shrimp and delicious enchilada. Do you have a good picture in your Instagram? <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> Everything is very delicious and my father was very happy with the experience. Okay, you consider it expensive? No, the prices are really uh, uh, very accessible. <laughs> okay. Another question. And, and the hamburger is so big. <laughs> the biggest. I need the directions. I need visit. It's delicious. I'm and 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 I'm I'm wrong. I'm I'm eating pizza in other occasion and it's really delicious too. Yeah, I have a recommend the pupusas with the ruta de las flores, and mm -hmm. later that point that um later that river to a rosario. I am desvio. Later to gas stations, as they are post to pupusas, is all delicious in that world. Maria Elena, quiere hablar de su experiencia? No he escrito nada, compañera. <laughs> Cuéntanos. Cristian ya puede hablar, todavía está en el trabajo. Yes, no, ya. Cuéntanos. Está en el trabajo. Ok, um, okay los, lo que escribí, vaya, un poco sobre mi última experiencia en un restaurante. Ahí les va. Do you in work in a restaurant, right? No. No, ok. No. In my last visit to a restaurant, I had a good experience. I ordered a roast, fresh salad, rice, toasted tortilla, avocado, and a very delicious fruit salad drink. Of course, I ordered dessert too. I ordered a delicious slice of cheesecake <laughs> accompanied by a cup of My coffee. My favorite. A favorite, yes. <laughs> Everything was so tasty. That's all. That's all my experience. Oh, you consider it expensive or it is paid? No, no, it, it not expen it's not expensive. Do you visit in another time? Yes, I will visit it another time in the future. Okay. Yes. Yes, I adore him, the, the cheesecake. Me too. <laughs> I prepared my, my proper cheesecake. I have the receta, I don't know, and I prepare the cheesecake. Wow. Yes, it's, it, it's a very delicious. Yes, it's very delicious. Yeah. You know, have another place would you recommend in the beach or in the city? That's me. In the beach, uh, it's a place to call La Isla. It's okay. It's, uh, So like, far uh, in the cartera. Yes. But vale la pena. Okay. Um, the view is so amazing. And it's a dinosaur in, uh -huh. in the installation of place. And the, in, and the, the food is very delicious. Oh, wow. 
Um, I am visit a restaurant in a Playa Metalillo. His name is Punta Diamante. And this restaurant have a papatiki. You know, listen, papatiki. No. It's a uh, awesome uh, food. Is uh, potatoes with uh, pineapples and shrimps, and, and have a uh, explosive um. I don't know sabor flavor. It's okay. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Man, it's amazing. It, 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 uh, for me, it's incredible. In El Salvador, no have um, in todos lugares ese tipo de comida. It's incredible, but I have the miradores or for the sunset in the and the evening, and I have the um, abuse for the Puerto de Acajutla and have a, a big este, um, pool. It's incredible. Check the Instagram. It's a, a good recommend in the Playa Mentario. Okay. Thank you for the Yes, Punta see you in, the, in class. See you. Okay, students, we have uh, concluded this class today. Thank you so much for the effort. It was a very interesting, you know, conversation you had, especially your personal experience about going some places right here in the country and also abroad. It's very interesting to know that there are great places that you can also, you know, recommend uh, also for visiting. The food, there are some places that food is very, very delicious and so you have a good feedback related to this one. So don't forget about it. And also, you know, today how to uh, request for some food, the expressions and the vocabulary used in uh, when you need to get something in a restaurant. And at the same time, focus in the review, explaining the details about the most delicious part, you know, and the prices and the type of food and also that like that. So congratulations because you were producing um, the, the language in the best level and I could listen to you speaking in English in the in the groups and that's great because you speak very good your, your English is great and I'm pretty sure that that in this process your English is going to be even 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 better so thank you so much and I hope to see you the next week don't forget to work in the exercises and have a beautiful and nice weekend Thank you, teacher. Yes, good, night. Good, night. Good, night. good night. Good night. Good night, teachers. Good night. Thank you later. Good night, classmates. Good night. Good night.